Hello everybody, today we're gonna see how to use Lissim 800L module with ESP32. As you can see, here is the circuit. We have the ESP32, the module SIM 800L, a capacitor, a resistor, and a battery. You can follow the schematics, and now let's take some information. For power requirements, the SIM 800L should be powered with 3.5 4 to 4.4 voltage. Ideally, you can use 4.0 volts. It also requires at least 2 amps of current, especially during network communication peaks. So as you can see, I'm using here 18615 battery with 2000 mA and it powers the module directly to the GND pin and the VCC pin. I advise you here to use thick wires for powering the module. Regular Arduino jumpers wires often can't handle the required current and may cause instability. For the communication setup, you should connect a 1 kilo ohm resistor in series with the RX pin of the module to ensure a safe and stable communication between the microcontroller, which is the ESP32 in our case, and the module. So also, you need to make sure to establish a common ground between the SIM 800L and your microcontroller. It's essential for proper operation. And as you can see here, we have the GND of the battery going to the SIM 800L module and going also to GND of our microcontroller. Also, you can add 100 microfarad and 60 volt electrolytic capacitor across the power input pins of the module, as you can see here. So the negative of the capacitor is going to the GND of the module and the positive is going to VCC of the module. So it can help to stabilize power and connect to the network more reliably. In our module, we have a red LED right here. So let's go to it indications on our module. So if the red LED blinks every one second, that means the module is powered but not connected to a cellular network yet, so it's not ready to use. If the LED blink every 2 seconds, it means that the module has an active GPRS data connection and it's ready to send and receive data. And finally, if the LED is blinking every 3 seconds, that means the module is connected to a cellular network and is ready for SMS and voice communication. So, after powering your module, you should look to this LED and read it, meaning by it blinks. It's important to know that the SIM card should be mounted this way. Let's go to see some useful tips. I advise you to test the SIM connection by calling the phone number associated with the SIM card inside the SIM 800L module. So, if the call goes through and the module rings, it means the network connection is working and you are ready to start coding. Finally, when uploading the code to the ESP32, disconnect either the TX or RX wires from the SIM 800 module. Some ESP32 boards fail to upload code if URT lines are connected during flashing. So to recap, this capacitor is completely optional if you want to accelerate the network connection. And also, the SIM should be mounted this way. For the resistor, it's advised to be wired with the RX pin and TX of the ESP32. Last thing, connect both GND of your module to the GND of your microcontroller to the GND of the battery. Now, Let's jump to Arduino EDA to see the code. As you can see, here is the code for sending SMS through the SIM 800L module. It uses the URT2 of the ESP32 on pins 16 and 17. It also uses 80 commands to check the successful connection of this module. Right here, you should enter your, the number you want to send the SMS to. You should also enter the key code of your country right here before your number. 
and this is the SMS we are going to send to this number. As you can see, here is my circuit. The SIM card should be inserted this way. Now, let's power on the module and wait it to connect to the network. As you can see, it starts blinking every one second. Let's wait until it connects to the network. And yeah, now it blinks every three seconds. That means the C module is connected successfully to the network. Let's connect the ESP32 to our laptop and upload the code and see the result. You need to remove one of the RX or TX in order to upload the code. Once uploaded, let's reset the card and see the console log. You need to get this OK message. And yeah, the message is sent. Let's see our mobile. As you can see, we got the message from the module. And yeah, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and peace.